And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second gauntlet of the day. Um, this is going to be where we're going to be trying this again. We have to try to get to seven wins before we get two consecutive losses. Uh, we tried it with the Vladimir Braum. We didn't quite get there. We got to six wins. Um, and your, your very last seven, w uh, the game to get you the seventh win, you only get one shot at it. So we're going to try again with another deck. We're going to play Fiora alone this time. Um, Fiora alone's a, a really fun deck to play. We have, uh, in this deck, we have three units. They are the three Fioras. All the rest of the cards are spells. <laughs> so we got three Fioras, 37 spells. Um, and this is a, a fun, just a fun deck to play because, um, you know, you just you just hope that you draw Fiora and you hope that Fiora wins for you. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and give this a try. Here we go. Playing... Playing some Fiora alone again. And run basically Fiora against a whole gauntlet. By herself. Alright, playing against a deep deck to start with. Uh, no Fioras, so I'm gonna look at them all. Look for Fiora. Okay, no Fiora still. We do have the, th the three and treat, so we, we technically have three more Fioras. We have six Fioras in the deck. But we gotta draw one of those. We've played this deck twice with our uh, five game leagues. You know, like that we do, like that we play five games in ranked. And I've had a turn three Fiora in all ten games that we've played. We've never not had turn three Fiora. See? It was right there. We had it the whole time. Uh, the Unyielding Spirit nerf being fast speed now, that's going to be a big nerf for Fiora. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. And I can't stop. If, if they have Grass the Undying, I can't stop that. They don't know that I can't stop that. But uh, I could wait a turn, and then I would have been safe against Grass the Undying. But... Um, I didn't want to waste that mana. There you go. Good job, Agent Iowa. Went 7-0 gauntlet run with Teemo Sejuani today. I yeah, I love that deck. That deck is so much fun. Okay, and you played a bunch of deep decks that were getting rid of their library, and then you gave them a bunch of puff caps. That's smart. Yeah, you'd rather waste three mana than waste Fiora. That's that is true. See, yeah, unyielding spirit. Okay, they only have. They only have two mana left, so they're not going to be able to get rid of this. They do have the... Uh, they have the other, the six mana... Devour the Depths is a six mana sea monster that they can use to obliterate Fiora. But we have a whole bunch of pump spells. And we have removal with single combat concerted strike. Their other option is Riptide. Sometimes deep decks just randomly play Riptide, and then if they have Riptide, we're in a ton of trouble. Like, I mean, that's just like Will of Ionia, right? Like, Will of Ionia, Riptide, we can't beat those cards. The most common way they have Riptide is if they have a Nautilus in play first, and then that's Nautilus's champion spell.
Yeah, as long as they don't randomly have Riptide, we should be good. We have a very good hand. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. Yeah, I mean, we could we could take out a Nautilus with just Fury of the North, single combat. The thing is, they they usually play um, Glimpse Beyonds. That's a card I don't really want to see. This will be quick. And no, I don't think this is a win because they can they can file feast their own thing. I'm not gonna just like throw my concerted strike away and try to win right now because of vile, they have vile feast. Doing it right now. If they do vile feast their own thing, we have we can uh, judgment. And so then they have to have another removal spell for their own thing, and then we'd still have concerted strikes, and they'd have to have another removal spell for their own thing again. I haven't played against a deep deck without Glimpse Beyond, but yeah, I guess if they, yeah, the, if you're saying Swim doesn't have Glimpse Beyond in his deep deck, and people play that deck, then yeah, that's good for us. Every time I've played this deck against deep, they, they just Glimpse Beyond their own thing a couple of times and eventually kill me and I'm sad. We should use the... Alright, we need to get the, the Fizz emote for this deck. We can't touch this emote. Another atrocity. All right, now I'm getting worried. Now I'm getting worried. Another atrocity. Because now they can... Now they can go Nautilus, and then a whole bunch of sea monsters... Or just just Nautilus plus Riptide. Come on, draw removal spell. No. Let them eat so fun. They're just gonna kill this little one one. They're just gonna kill their one one. He 
another single combat. Yeah, I think I think my opponent has this now. That second atrocity. Ugh, that got me. Wow, okay. Nothing to hold me back. I will put We have a chance. So why not attack anyway? Because I wanted to see, like, if they if they would have played something bigger, we would have killed that. Wow. No other Nautilus? They just had the one Nautilus. Another victory for House Laurent. Wow. I thought for sure they had a second Nautilus in hand and they were Riptide the Fiora. By not attacking, I didn't let them play something else that was bigger than just the little 1-1. One, one. Okay. We got... Fiora. Um, with the Chain Vest. I like that. Uh these two cards. Flash Free seems pretty good. Repost is kind of meh. Four mana. We have just a ton of spells that are very like it's very mediocre. We have a lot of spells that are like it. Uh, I don't know. Like, they can be really aggressive. This isn't not necessarily just, like, a good matchup. I mean, they can be really aggressive. And they're also a Glimpse Beyond deck, too. Like, Glimpse Beyond decks are tough. By my honor, you must die. Yeah, playing Fiora in, in the Gauntlet is quite the flavor when... Looks like they're they want to glimpse beyond. For the honor of God. Why would you do the single combat? It's a good card. Hand is really good. These one man spells, Brittle Steel, Chain Vest, Elixir of Iron. These are very good. I have to worry about. Um, I have to worry about repost working. Let them eat so. Try to. <clears throat> because of Vile Feast. Just used Elixir of Iron as a 
I'll just use an elixir of iron as just a permanent buff. To the health for Fiora to just heal Fiora. Two cards in hand. I wonder what their plan is. Alright, let me figure out their plan. I sure hope that last card isn't... Vile Feast. Okay, cool. If it was Vile Feast, I did have double Elixir of Iron, so like, I was still fine. I didn't use the Fiora's Repost before because I didn't want, um, I just almost, I just like, my, I just kind of freaked out there, but, uh, I didn't want, uh, to, I didn't really want to draw another Repost, so that's why I didn't want to shuffle that in, but, oh my gosh, because I challenged that there, and then I was just talking, and I didn't think about it, and then I realized, oh my gosh, is my Fiora going to die? Because I, I just didn't even really think that, like, the Fiora could die. Uh, thankfully it didn't, because the tough, but... Man, that could have been like a spot where they would have just traded and I just didn't pay attention and I could have Elixir of Iron. I, oh man, my heart skipped a beat there. <laughs> that was almost really bad because I didn't, I didn't, you know, like, like really check or anything. Whew, that could have been bad. Thankfully, Chain Vest is awesome. Wow. Another victory for House Laurent. Yeah, that, that was... That was close. That was close. So again, while it's it's nice to have a bunch of small things that's easy for Fiora to kill, it's not, you know, like they're also real aggressive, and so it's not always easy to stabilize. Please don't have Butcher. Yay. Yeah, if they had Butcher here, that would be sad. I guess I could purify that thing. But I can't I can't really purify it. Gotta play Fiora. Don't have the mana to purify. All right, so now we can take hearts. Or we can stand alone. I'm not planning on blocking the 4-3. I'm not planning on blocking the 4-3 and then doing one of these. Like it's, it's too easy to, to kill Fiora. Fiora would go down to one health. I follow you anywhere. I know just the place. Alright, I can probably block at least though. Better they, they have two mana now. It may just not attack. Maybe I should just I probably should just cast this and I may have just wasted one mana. I couldn't Oh, I guess I could have challenged the one one. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have challenged the one one. Remember the objectives. Nothing to hold me back. 
I'm just gonna play this now before they pass and not attack. Strike at their foundations. Skitter out from the darkness. Sharp blade, sharp mind. Which goes to spider? Mm. I don't like that card. I'm not gonna let them play Ravenous Butcher right now and get another 4 4. Yeah, our best draw is Judgment. Come on, Judgment. Darn. That's not a bad one, though. Uh, let's see. See, they have to kind of be worried about judgment, right? I guess not. I guess not. They're not ghosting. That's our second kill, right? Yeah, because we uh, were in the animation. It just started, it started to look like they had one kill. No, they probably can't win by playing around Judgment. But I was still hoping they... That's why I was hoping they would. If they don't break, they'll burn. Alright, we need... You know, we need single combat, concerted strike. We need removal. <sighs> this isn't good. This isn't good. I will cut you down. Looks like that glimpse beyond got me. Yeah, I forgot I forgot about attacking turn three. I'm not sure if they would have had anything that would have been able to kill my Fiora, but yeah. Forgot about that. No, no single combat. Everyone's a god. No judgment. Grow follows. All right, two and one. GG. It's good to have one of the removal spells, especially against an aggro deck. You know, so single combat, concerted strike, judgment. It's really helpful to have one of those. But we had a real good hand the turn before the game before. Can't complain too much. 
Yeah, the turn three. You know, pass because it wasn't a good attack, but then they played the hapless aristocrat, and I could have attacked that. Might have been the thing to do. Sejuani Braum. What do I want to do with you? I'm going to mulligan you. Don't have too many four mana spells. Can't block because not only transf you know transfusion doesn't kill me, but Fury of the North does. We have to be worried about Fury of the North as well. Just the way I like it. I never. Oh God. I probably shouldn't cast standalone before. Doing damage, I probably should just go go tough first, because right, because we don't want to take damage. But I probably should have just gone tough and then attack and see what they do. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's what I should have done, right? And then, well, the thing is, is they would have gone fury, and then I would have gone standalone. I wouldn't have played flash freeze to be honest. So I would I would have played standalone, and then yeah, they would have transfusion. So. GG's. Yeah, cause I would Flash Freeze would have saved Fiora, but I probably wouldn't I probably would have cast the standalone, not the Flash Freeze. That was a A showing of how four mana standalone can cost you. If that was three mana standalone, we would have had Flash Freeze also. And would have been just fine. Yeah, maybe maybe just playing the tough is greedy. Maybe maybe that is just greedy, because I guess getting one damage on our thing because of take heart is not bad anyway. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. So maybe yeah, I guess I guess just playing the, the chain vest was just incorrect. If they don't break, we'll burn. Make the Empire proud. Let them eat so fun. Without fight spells, winning this is going to be really difficult. Even more difficult. I need to draw judgment. Draw judgment. It is easy, see? <laughs> Time for talking book. Clear it out. Show me your best. Going down to three. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping our frostbite stuff can kind of keep us alive.
It's gonna level up Rom. Dang, their hand was incredible. Double Omen Hawk and then all those those pump spells. And then Braum. War Mason, reporting for duty. The few for the many. Come on, judgment. 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 Hmm. Maybe we need three judgments. Maybe we need three judgments. Maybe we do. Maybe that's that's not the way we need to change. Have three judgments. It's in the card that we've needed all this time. Too many of these like crappy four mana cards. Probably Repost. Repost is probably the worst card that we have in our deck. It's too easy to to turn off Repost. What if Repost should just be single? Should just be Prismatic Barrier anyway for the less mana. Uh, that is somebody who is, that is somebody who is scared of judgment right there. somebody that did not want to lose to judgment. Draw a fight spell. Yes. We have a chance. Need a removal spell. Gonna get out of Brittle Steel range. Not sure if Brittle Steel really matters. Should have brittle sealed their thing first. I guess it doesn't matter. This will be quick. Awesome! Wow. I refuse. Wow. As I expected. 
Thankfully, hey, Judgment won us that game. We didn't draw it, but it won us that game. We can't, you can't change your deck during a gauntlet. So even if I want to put it in a third Judgment, I can't. Wow. And then that single combat top deck. We are still in there. Oh man, I want to keep Judgment. Especially against an Ephemeral deck. Ephemeral decks go wide, attack for a lot. Alright, we're going to keep Judgment. Yuck. Repose. No! <laughs> Alright, it's okay, Judgment. You deserve you deserve this game. That's okay. You deserve this game. You you won us the last game. Everything's better with you deserve this. Says you. Oh, that's true, because they, they challenged with that first. I didn't even need the single combat to win. That's true. Because we just kill this Edgewani before the other damage happens. I just kind of assumed they were going to do the other, the other part, and I just didn't even think about that. Always two steps ahead. Two steps ahead. No steps behind. We're, we're spending five mana for our Fiora's over here. And this economy, man. Just gotta spend five mana for a Fiora. I remember when Fiora used to cost three mana. Don't want to risk anything happening. Right there. Uh. No. Yeah, I'd rather be safe than sorry, exactly. Block Zed. Sharp blade, sharp I think we're good blocking Zed. I mean, the standalone as well. Is that even. What's the point of doing that? I, under I don't really understand how that helps them. All they're doing is just putting a Zed in, in hand. All they're doing is spending three mana for nothing. Like, why don't they just let the damage... Isn't it the same thing the damage happens? It doesn't save their Zed. It uses the Zed in their hand. Like, what's, what's the difference? It doesn't save Zed. They, they put a Zed in their deck now. They just spent three mana to put a Zed in their deck where they could have just spent that three mana to play the Zed. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a good play, a good use of three mana, just putting one Zed into your deck randomly. Single combat's too valuable. I wasn't gonna. My Fiora was already getting a kill. I didn't need to use single combat to still get one kill. It's the same thing. Single combat's too, much more valuable than that. Ooh. 
I remember when you were burst speed. I remember when you were burst speed. But you still work just fine. <laughs> yeah, that's... Unless they have Will of Ionia. Like, that's, that's the card they need. Right, they need Will of Ionia. So, game's, game's not over. I mean... That's that's the game right now. Do they have Will of Ionia? And if not, they should they shouldn't be casting anything. It's possible it's not in their deck, but just make me do 20 damage. Like just don't don't play anything and let me kill. Like if I'm on their end, if if there is Will of Ionia in the deck, I wouldn't wouldn't be playing anything. Alright, four wins for Fiora. Noxus Elusives with Zed. Alright, we're gonna get rid of Fury and Repost. Just the random four mana cards. That's better. Hey, Nalim. Hello, hello. That's Noxus stuff. Plan V Noxus stuff. That's annoying. So next turn, standalone. The turn after that, because so we only have five mana. So the turn after, we can go standalone this turn, and then we can go double take heart. Everything's better with company. Says you. Just the way I like it. Again, if they... This can definitely be a deck that's playing Will of Ionia. If they do, we lose. It's just how it is. <laughs> Our deck doesn't do good against that card. Let's move. Hey, that's awesome. Good job, core deck. Good luck. 6-0 with a championless Undying deck. You're playing a bunch of possessions, and they've been great. Interesting. And we lose. 
is. That's a good call. Man, yeah, think of how broken Fiora would be if her spell was single combat. Yeah, if Fiora's champion spell was single combat, uh, that would be awesome. I mean, yeah, she, yeah, she'd be so good. Ahead. Flipping Fiora doesn't matter because even you still need four kills with the Fiora, so it's not like we level up Fiora that, that makes a difference. You still need four kills with Fiora. All right, get those out of the decks now. We're we're not gonna draw those at least. Yeah, even if you if you play a, a new leveled up Fiora and yet has zero kills, you still need still need four kills. I like the harsh winds. Opponents taking their time. Play one of these reposts they know about. Good job, Naleem. You went seven wins with a Nivea Braum. Good job. Pledge yourself to the shadows. All damn repose. Hey, boot, doing good. Going with a long stream today. Usually, I'm done streaming like 15 minutes ago. We still got a lot to play. Definitely not 11 mana. Oh yeah, it was 11. Okay, yeah. So we can do that. And... Fury. I don't want to repost. It's probably better to repost. Your move. Precision and grace. I wonder if I'm supposed to be killing like this living shadow instead of the Zed, and letting them keep Zed in play. Probably not. But I'm not sure, to be honest. I want the Fiora to have some damage on it so that we get to take heart.
Can't get a Fiora with any damage on it. That's a good draw. War Mason, reporting for duty. Hmm. That seems weird. If they don't break, they'll burn. Single combat. Should be a win. Double single combat. There we go. GG's. That's <laughs> such a good Fiora emote. Yeah, Fioras are our only unit in our whole deck. It's just all spells, and then our, our three Fioras, and then all spells. Well, it's Fiora alone. <laughs> Nothing but Fiora and spells. It's our only way to win. <laughs> Fiora says, get it. Get over here. All right, we're five and one. I do like the concerted strike, but let's let's mulligan these. Counter and strike. That was what happened. Deny was the counter, and then our other single combat was another strike. Now we need some cheaper spells. What are all these four mana cards? Where's our where's our one drops? Our chain vest. Well, good enough, I, I suppose. I long for a worthy opponent. Um, Nothing to hold me back. Let's go standalone. <laughs> I think I think they did the math. The odds of me not having a I think somebody in chat said this. So I I I didn't do this math myself, so I can't say that, it, that this is exactly accurate. But um, somebody in chat, but whenever we played this last time, said that the odds of not having a Fiora on turn three was about 12%. Or rather, it's sort of like 88% to have a Fiora on three. So it's something like that. When we hit, when we see like four cards and we get to Mulligan and see four, and you know, so we. You see, uh, what, seven, or eleven, you see eleven cards before, on turn three, right? Because you, you have your four in your opener, then your new four, and your three draws. So it's like, you see like eleven cards, and then there's, there's the six out of forty. So it's something like that. Is this supposed to be a challenge? So I didn't want to use any tricks originally because I wanted my Fiora just to be a half two health and I wanted to incentivize them attacking again. That's why I didn't want to use any, any tricks originally. I wanted to incentivize them say go ahead attack again but you know obviously now they're, they're not going to attack that's not going to happen so that's why i didn't want to use anything originally fortune favors the bold just the way i like it Yay, good job, Kordak. You got got the 7-0. He said possession was the card that was doing great for you. 
your championless deck. Attack with some more stuff. Or nah. Okay. Attack with more stuff. Such unrefined style. We're at three out of four with Fiora. GG! Six and one! Another victory for House Laurent. Another win, or did it say victory? Another victory for House Laurent. Alright, final battle. We only get one chance. We only get one shot. Final battle. Let's go. Let's get that. Uh, let's get that other the seven win icon. Okay, a Nivea Thresh. This is gonna be a tough matchup because they don't they don't just play a bunch of units for me to kill. This is gonna be a tough matchup. And they have vengeance. Um, Mulligan this. I mean, I like the standalone to go along with it. We want Unyielding Spirit. That's the card that we want the most. Unyielding Spirit. Another victory for House Laurent. Ooh, it is raining hard here. Cursed Keeper. Oh, that is great. They're not just like a super late game deck with no units. They got a Curse Keeper. I can kill Curse Keeper. By my honor, you must die. Unyielding Spirit. Called it. Strike quickly or die. I should have played my chain vest first. Alright, three mana do two damage. I don't think there's that's not a card, right? And I'm glad I didn't play the chain vest first, because we got this. Um, you know, Black Spear, they don't have anything dying. They can't black spear. So I think this is safe. I can't think of anything that does two damage. I think this is safe. Yes, let's go. Let's go. So now our Fiora cannot take damage and cannot die. Cannot take damage, cannot die. Alright, two down. We need we need to kill two more and then win the game. It's looking good for us right now. Gonna play that to use some mana. Did 
because I, I kind of want to have surprise take heart, surprise standalone, even though it's not really that, that much of a surprise because we have the repose now. Alright, take heart gives plus three, plus three. Now it's a seven, six. Yeah, and if, if they do have frostbite, we'll uh, pump up some more. Pump up them jams. Alright, so we could single combat to win, but we can also just wait. I think we got this. I think we got this. Here we go. Opponent surrendered. Slow and steady wins the race. I didn't do the Fiora emote though. I should have done the Fiora emote. Cool, we got our bonus XP for the seven wins. And that's a seven win gauntlet. This deck's just so much fun to play. It's a good one. You do the same thing against everybody. Loot. Let's get our loot. Gauntlet Conqueror. All right, we got a new player icon. That's our loot. It's a pretty sweet player icon. So yeah, that's that's the deck. Fiora alone. Three Fioras, <laughs> thirty-seven spells. It's pretty awesome. We did we did talk about it in there like how maybe a third judgment could help, just like some more some more ways to kill some things uh, with Fiora. Um, and I didn't love like having like if if you won't play a third judgment, it's probably over repose because you know like all these four mana cards kind of get uh, kind of get heavy and clunky in hand sometimes. Yeah, Ionia Ionia is the worst to play against. Will Will of Ionia Will of Ionia is the worst card to play against in the whole format. We did play against I mean we did beat a deck that did cast Will of Ionia on our Fiora. We just recast Fiora and killed four things afterwards cuz they were kind of slower. Um, or at least they had a slower hand. They had a bunch of like pump spells and stuff in hand. So like we we were able to beat. So it's not like instant loss, you know, like it's it's just it sets you back a whole bunch and it's it's the worst card in the format to face. You of course, but not everybody has Will of Ionia. You know, they have to they have to be playing the region Ionia, and then they also have to draw it. And then but besides that, ways to kind of play around it, you try to you try to stockpile your single combat and concerted strike. You try to stockpile those and like maybe you can get like two single combats in hand and you get two kills with Fiora and then they Will of Ionia, then you respond with like double single combat and kill two other things. I mean it's a dream, but you know, like that's what you try to do um, against Will of Ionia. But pretty, pretty sweet deck here. That's Fiora alone. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. So we got the seven win there. All right. Uh, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. What do you think of the gauntlets? Uh, you know, do you like? Do you like seeing the gauntlets uh, over there on YouTube? You know, like next week we'll have a different gauntlet. And tomorrow, tomorrow, I was planning on playing a couple of gauntlets tomorrow. Uh, we got donation decks for like uh, Heimerdinger Timo and Ezreal Swain. Uh, two people got seven win gauntlets. And so I was planning on playing those through gauntlet tomorrow also. Uh, yes, concerted strikes and judgments count as Fiora kill. Yeah, so you can, you can have a zero a zero kill Fiora and just kill four things with a judgment and just win on the spot with just a, a judgment. Yeah. Cause it's the ally is striking. And so, yeah, you, so these still count, the allies are striking. So these, these still count just like with a uh, single combat. All right, but that's it here for uh, Fiora alone. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.